Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Red Dirt Rods. Now today we're working on a cool little project, how to make your own battery cables. So whether you're doing an engine swap, upgrading your car audio wiring, or you just want to replace your battery cable, this will show you how to do it for any project. We're going to show you a couple different ways to do it. The right way, which is using a crimper, or if you need to, a hammer and punch, and we're going to show you how to do it for your project. So this is a battery terminal right here. All right, this is a replacement. A lot of people consider these emergency style, and you can use them that way for sure. If you are in an emergency and you have to replace your battery cable, you can put the wire in here and clamp this down, and this will work to get you home. These are not the best when used that way. I prefer to use these and take the center plate off and just bolt a ring terminal directly here like this. That way you can put however much you need to on your battery terminal and it's safe and secure. So, how do we do that? Well, this is a piece of four gauge, this is a piece of one on. Doesn't really matter what kind of wire you're working with. This is four gauge wire right here. Everybody should have a four gauge wire running from your battery to your starter. If you're using a lot of car audio equipment or electrical equipment or just want a better power situation, you should run a piece of four gauge from your alternator to your battery as well. So we've got a couple of different types of terminals here. We've got a fancy car audio one that has an Allen set screw. You can just undo this, trim this, slide it in and crimp it down. These do work. You tend to get a lot of corrosion built up inside of here because they don't have the best connection. Then you have a standard crimp, which is a split ring. So this is split right down the center and both of these will crimp over like that. Then you've got the best option, which is a copper full crimp terminal. There is another option, and that is a high-end style battery terminal like this one from Kicker. I'll take this apart here. So you'll notice this has an adjustable ring inside here, so it'll fit positive or negative, and then it has multiple sizes of holes and set screws. These do work. Again, you run into the same issue. You can get a lot of corrosion built up in these. These are mainly geared for car audio. I prefer to use a lead battery terminal like this with copper rings. This is copper clad aluminum in one aught size. This is common for car audio. There's a couple different ways to cut this, but the easiest way is to just be really careful and slice the outside edge just barely. Okay, the razor blade. And I like to twist the end and peel it off. You will always get some strays. Don't worry about that too much. So for this one, we're gonna use the split ring. Typically, you want to slide this on before you uh, cut it, and I always forget to do that. So slide that on, twist this a little bit, and then we're just going to take the terminal, and we're going to go with the twist. You want to eliminate as many of those frays from hanging out the side, okay? So you want... The wire should be at least flush with the end like it is here. We've got the terminal on the wire and we're gonna have our, we're gonna set it on the vise. You don't have to use a vise, but it's handy. We're gonna take our punch and we're gonna put it right over the center of the split near the front. And this is to set the wire and to keep it. Just use a small hammer. Just a few taps like that. Now one side is done. Sometimes these work really well with you and sometimes they fight you. So we're gonna take the other one, do it on the other side. 
Then we're going to come to the back and we're going to do the same thing. So now this is on there and it's not going anywhere. But what I like to do just for a little bit of extra security is I like to flip it over and go to the back side right in the center and hit it again. Now this is set, it won't go anywhere, and we can just slide our rubber boot on. Now this is done, it will work and it will last, but this is not the right way to do it. This is the right way to do it. So this is a large crimping tool. These are available in all kinds of flavors. You can even get one that will do a similar crimp with a hammer, but if you're going to buy a tool, buy the right one. So you can use this with this style split ring or a solid copper piece like this, which is what I like to use. You can use the razor like we used earlier. As soon as you feel the blade touching metal, back off a little bit. Then you can just pull this piece off while you twist it. Okay. You want to make sure you trim enough to go to the bottom of the terminal, like that. Then this will just slide right on, nice and easy. You're going to want to make sure you find the right uh, size on your crimpers, which for us is this 14. Then you're just going to put it in there. Come down slow until you make contact. All right. You make sure you hold the wire tight in the terminal and then squeeze it till it clicks and it'll open. Now you can see here it's got a nice indentation. This is as solid as it gets. This is not going to corrode. You don't need to solder it. Soldering these terminals unless you have a professional soldering kit, this will be better than solder because you get a lot of vibration in cars and solder will actually tend to heat up this whole area and will make this brittle and this will eventually break. When you do it with the crimp style, it won't break. This will all flex nice. You can always take your heat shrink and slide it over the end like that just a, you only need enough to cover the end of the wire this piece is a little long so I'm just gonna put it on right there and I'm just gonna cut it get a little pocket torch or a heat gun Heat that up nice. Be careful not to burn the heat shrink. And that's all there is to making a brand new battery cable. This cable will last years and keep you on the road. Make sure you hit like and subscribe so we can keep making these videos for you. And we'll see you next time.